Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. <laughs> we know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. I can't pull it off. Nick here. Jody there. And we are here for another Coke Studio reaction. And we are looking at, once again, we're diving deep into the older Coke Studio songs since it's in between seasons. Love season 14. If you haven't seen our reactions yet, go ahead and check it out. They're on the channel, their own playlist, all that kind of wonderful stuff. And this is from season two. We got a lot of requests because I've been trying to convince her to love Odd of Oslam. This is not one of those videos, so don't worry. Um, your torture and my torture will be put on hold for a second. But we got a lot of requests for Ollie's offer. And if I said that right, awesome. If not, I apologize. And this guy's got a huge fan base, a lot of requests. We reacted to his rock star song. So we're looking at a season two song is what I'm trying to say. This is Dastan A. Ishk. And I'm pretty sure Ishk means love or friendship or something like that. And so something to do with that. There's subtitles here. I wanted to react to a string song. That Kabadia guy that was in that very last Fear Melange song okay. from Coke Studio. But there was no subtitles in that song. So if you know what version has subtitles, share with us. If not, we're checking out this right now. If you're excited for our reaction, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. So that you can be notified of every video that we react to that you are excited to watch. And if you don't care, this finger is always here. All right. I'm not sure what that means. No, it's a threat. You think I scared anybody? No. <laughs> you think I had anyone roll their eyes? Yep. Absolutely. All right. You excel at that, sir. Here we schmo. Final performance of this could not be completed. This is the rehearsal. For oh, that sounds like something I would have done. Uh, the lens cap was on. I wonder why. Who knows? Some kind of technical issues. Probably your fault. Always is. This was 12 years ago. Hopefully they're on point for their rehearsal. How old were you at 12 years ago? Six? <laughs> Bad joke, I know. Be interesting to see how the rehearsal is, right? That's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking like if they're really as into it or. I know you love that. Can you do that? No. I can't even do that by talking. He changes. Look at that. I like the flute. Yeah. The wooden flute. Let us know who Ranja is or what that means. Please. Set the tone with that flute, very little other instruments, but we know they're there. Nice. They're probably like, oh, thank goodness we got a good rehearsal. Seriously. Wow, look at that on the I pot. Know. Yeah, close pot? No, it can't be close. <laughs> He looks a little different than he did in Rockstar. I like that. Crazy that you can hear the flute over the other instruments? So distinctly? I'm wondering if the microphone just on it is turned up louder than the others. 
Try to rob the wedding foot. They filmed the rehearsal. They lucked out with that one. Lucked out big time. Because it's it didn't feel like it shouldn't have been felt filmed, right? Like everything seemed like like if they didn't put that little um oh, what's it called that little um disclaimer in there, I don't think we would have realized. Would have realized it all at all. No, especially since this was season two, right? I can't imagine the the video quality. I mean, even HD what. I think that was around everywhere in 2010 for crying out yeah, loud. I don't know. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I appreciate that they were honest about it because they're obviously taking it very seriously. And um, for someone that edits videos, you know, when when you know something's not right, you just feel like you want to just spill your guts on everything because they don't get the exact product. But when they're watching, like, dude, we don't see any different. Yeah. But I, I really, I really enjoyed that song. And he is such a different, like character almost in this than he was in Rockstar. And again, mm -hmm. Rockstar was trying to exude that rockstar -ness. Like, I'm just awesome. I'm cool. I'm great. Look at me. I want to know, let me know, maybe he's just very versatile. Is this truly how most of his music is, or is it more like the rock out Rockstar type version? I really, I liked the Rockstar song. I still love that song. But I really liked this. Again, it, it was a little, it was a little slower, right? It was a little quieter. Um, but I really, really enjoy it. I liked his voice with it. And as I'm listening to it, especially near the end, he's reminding me of like something from like the 70s, like the 60s or 70s, kind of like an old soul with his voice. And the best comparison, no one's probably ever made this comparison with him, but my best comparison would be like a John Denver, if that makes sense. Mm. If John Denver could hit the same kind of notes more consistently that he could, because it was just so like easy listening, easy going, and almost effortless for him. 
But the flute guy was awesome. He was still on the show. Everyone did a great job. And again, for them to do the sound mixing, whoever the technical person is, so you can still hear the flute, like you were saying, maybe they adjust yeah. the volumes. What well, was very nice. I, I really enjoyed that song. It was just a, such a soothing, soothing song. I really like the flute, too. I think that's my favorite part. I have nothing against him. It's just not... It, this wasn't my style of song. Honestly, I have nothing against it. Like, I enjoyed the rock star song, too. I have you heard Mehram before? But it's different, Nick. It's the sound. It's the singing. It's the words. I'm a huge lyric person. I'm a huge lyric person. And these lyrics were okay. They just didn't hit me like the other one. And I, just the beat and stuff, the melody. Like, I don't know. There was, like, a, a sadness. Like, a devastation and loss in that song where this one was just oh like, in Mehram yes I was like in this one no in Mehram Me I say Mehram oh squeeze me they kind of say it when they sing it they kind of do that Meh. she had a moment there I'm just saying <laughs> I really liked it you see how like, bundled up she is <laughs> just so cold it's like 85 degrees <laughs> outside I had the ceiling fan at level one you would think we were in an ice box or something the air, right the AC I mean is on she's, too. she's in a cocoon <laughs> The AC is on too. It's just. Gorgeous. I promise she has arms. <laughs> I, I just, She's not like tied up under there. You will record with me. You must record with me. Just, we'll put a blanket over the tape. I just put it on. I just put. It on. I mean, it's been on my lap the entire time, but I just lift up my <laughs> arms because they were getting and, chilled. And I know if Gay's watched this, he's like, Jody, just make us a sign. Let us know if you need help. <laughs> just, just show it real quick. Need help? I'm good. Oh, I was okay. just a little. I was just a little. It's just a little Whew. frigid in here. It's okay. Just a it's little okay. frigid. No, so. no, no health calls, no wellness checks. <laughs> I, but again, nothing wrong with the song. I mean, he can, he can do some awesome things with his voice. So can the a tiff guy too. A he, tiff guy. Just, they're just, wow, that's where he's been denounced to. They're just not my style. They're just not people I would listen to again. And it's nothing against them. She it's loves nothing to say that. against them. So moving on, I was I was a little confused with the lyrics. I like to try yeah. to. Try to make sense of it because there's, again, there's, I, I can't assume that everyone in Pakistan is Muslim. I'm not going to make that assumption. But it seems like a lot of the Coke Studio songs, especially the earlier seasons, has a lot of Muslim beliefs in there. And there's a lot of similarities with Muslim and Christianity. Whether you believe it or not, there is. There's a lot. And I couldn't tell if he's really, at first, if he was talking to the woman he loved or if he was talking to his God, whoever that Ramja is. I'm not sure who that Ramk I can't do it. That Ramsha name. I'm not sure what that is. But I got kind of the sense of just listening to that, that, especially near the end, right? That it's all about true love, like love, like a love between, you know, you and your partner. And because there was that line where he said, like, even the Lord's not going to be vexed for a person that shows whose dances. I'm not sure what Kajol means. Um, but dances, and I look at it as console, or, or went to the person that you love, and that's kind of what I, how I took it, right? The thing that threw me off when he said it's all around me, because that to me denotes some kind of deity. But I was, I was a little confused. I think it's more about this is how you should treat the person you love, and you'll be supported by God. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I feel like there are three or four different names that were used. That, and maybe my fourth is that Kajol or whatever yeah. that was in there. That I was not, like, yeah, I was like, what is that? And so, and, and again, nothing wrong with it. I just, like, it was not triggering any, anything Trigger. in my schema, my background knowledge. Oh, wow. So I couldn't use my context clues to decipher its meaning. Okay, teacher language. Let us know what you think about our reaction. Let us know what you think about this song and any of the points we brought up. And with all that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. Goodbye.